Hi, in this tutorial we are going to look at how to test conditions in Python and have our programs make different decisions based on um, whether a condition is true or false. And to do that we're going to use something called if statements. So basically to start off with, what we're going to do is ask for the user's name and then if uh, their name is a particular name we can display one message and if it's a different name we can display a different message. So we could either uh, store this name in a variable, for example we could just create the username and uh, make up some name, store it as a string, and then test um, if the username is equal to this username, display one message, if it's a different name, display a different message. But what I'm going to do is allow the user to enter their name, so we're going to add some user input. We can do that by using the input function, or if we're using Python 2.7, we'd use the raw input function. We're going to say input and then enter your name. Okay, and the next thing that we'll do is basically test this test a condition. So we'll check if their name is equal to a particular name. Now, to do that, we write if. So this is the start of an if statement. We write if and then space, and then we specify the condition that we want to check or test. So what we're going to do here is check if username is equal to. So to check if something is equal to a particular value, we use two equal signs in a row. So a single equal sign means that we're assigning a value to a variable. Um, in this case, whatever the user's name is will be assigned to the variable called username. The two equal signs in a row means we're actually comparing if something is equal to something else. So in this case, uh, I'm going to check if the user's name is, uh, for example, Joe. And at the end of our condition, so this is our condition here that we're checking, we're checking is username equal to Joe. We add a column, hit enter or return, and then the code that will run if this condition evaluates to true needs to be indented to the right under the if statement. So any code below this condition here that's indented is going to belong to this if statement and it's going to run if the if statement is true. So it just prints a simple message saying, hey there, Joe, how are you? Okay, so what we'll do now is save this and we'll run it. And I'm going to just enter in um, a random name. Let's just go with Sam, hit enter and notice that nothing happens. Okay, the reason why nothing happened was because this condition evaluated to false, it wasn't true. I entered in a different name to Joe. So basically it skips this code here completely. Now, we could have some more code down the bottom just to see that that would actually run. So if I save and run again, and I put in that same name again, we see goodbye, but we don't see this message here because this condition here has, um, it, we've tested it and it's false. So username is not equal to Joe. But what we could do is add a else statement. And basically an else statement, it means that if this condition here isn't true, then we'll run some other code instead. So what we can do is say else, colon, and then specify what we want to happen. So some alternative code to run if this condition here is not true. So we'll print, hi there. Um, now, what we can do here is actually just add their name. So we can say, hi there, name. Um, and then maybe just end the message there. Okay, so we're um, concatenating this message here. Hi there, adding in their name, whoops, it's meant to be a username, adding in their username, and then just a period at the end of that statement. Okay, so let's run it again. And so this time we'll enter in Joe. 
and it says, hey there, Joe, how are you? And again, we'll run it, and this time we'll enter in another name, go with Sally. And it says, hi there, Sally. Okay, so basically, when the condition is true in this if statement, it's going to run this code here. Otherwise, if it's false, so if the username is something other than Joe, anything other than Joe, then it's going to run the code here underneath the else. Now, we've got a special message for Joe. What if we want another special, mes special message for a different username? Let's say Sally. Well, what we can actually do is underneath the if statement, we can add an else if. And in Python, that's shortened to L if. And basically what that means is we can specify another condition here. So this time we might check if the username is equal to Sally. And if so, we're going to print a completely different message. And we're going to say, hello, um, hello, plus username. Um, and then, oops, and the end where we could say something like, nice to meet you. Okay, so something completely different. So now let's text, test that. Oops, so we have a little problem here, whoops. Okay, so it said syntax error or invalid syntax. I just forgot to close off that bracket there on that um, print statement there. So let's run it again. Hopefully no syntax errors this time. Okay, so enter your name. Let's go with Joe. It says, hey there, Joe, how are you? Run it again. This time we'll enter Sally. Hello, Sally, nice to meet you. Um, just notice that there's no space there. So I'll just add a space after that, hello. And Lastly, we'll put in a different name. Let's go with uh, Mike. And it says, hi there, Mike. Okay, so we've tested out all the different paths here. We've checked this condition, we've checked this condition, and then we've also tested what happens when neither of these conditions are true. So when they're both false, we would run the else statement. Now, we can have as many separate if statements as we like. We can check one thing here, we can check another thing later on in the program. Um, but if we're testing a whole heap of things at once, then we can either write if and an optional else, um, or we can test multiple conditions and we can have as many, oops, we can have as many L ifs as we like. So we can test as many different conditions as we like. We can say if username is equal to Joe, L if username is equal to Sally, L if username is equal to Mike, L if username is equal to something else, and so on. And then lastly, there's always the optional else that we can include as well, if we want to specify what will happen if none of those conditions evaluate to true. Um, so that's basically how to write if statements in Python. What we're going to look at now are some other operators. So we've tested the is equal to operator here. Um, what we'll go and do now is use some other operators like ones that we can use on numbers. So let's clear this code. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to create a number guessing game. So we're going to set a secret number, uh, which we'll just say is equal to 6. And then what we're going to do is ask the user to enter a number between 1 and 10, and they need to guess the number. So that variable, well, the, the guess is going to be stored in a variable called guess. And we're going to get the input from the user. We're going to say enter a number between 1 and 10. And because we're going to be comparing whether their guess is equal to the number, we need to convert the guess uh, value from a string which will be stored as by default because we're using the input function here we need to convert that to an integer so we can say int and then put the input statement all inside uh, those brackets there okay so now what we can do is check if guess is equal to secret number 
then we'll say something like, you got it. Uh, now, we might then want to say uh, something like else. Um, wrong guess, or wrong number. Try again, if they don't get it right. So if their guess is equal to six, which is the secret number, then we'll tell the user they got it right. Otherwise, if that condition is not met, if it's not true, uh, else we'll say wrong number, try again. So let's try this out, run. Now let's enter something like eight. We say wrong number, try again. We'll try again, this time we'll go with six. It says you got it, okay? So that is equal to operator can be used on strings, but it can also be used on numbers like integers and floats and can also be used with booleans. Now, basically, we're only telling the user if they got the number right or if they got it wrong. So what we could do is specify an L if. So you can say, okay, if they haven't got the number right, they haven't guessed the secret number, then maybe we can tell them whether it's lower or higher. So we can check if their guess was less than, that's the less than operator, if it was less than the secret number, then we'll say the secret number is higher. Now, we can either change this else statement to say the secret number is lower, because if the secret number is not equal to their guess, if it's not, if it's not less than their guess, their guess, then it's going to be higher. So we could, we could say, um, the secret number is lower than what their guess was. Their guess was higher than the secret number. Um, so we could either write that here in the else, or we could just have an elif. We can say elif guess is greater than secret number. If it's higher than the secret number, we'll say the secret number is lower than their guess. Okay, so let's test that out now. And we don't really need an else here anymore because all possible conditions have been met. We've checked if their guess is equal to the secret number. We've checked if it's less than, and we've checked if it's greater than. So we've used the is equal to operator, we've used the less than operator, and the greater than operator. So save and run this. Now let's start with something like nine. It says the secret number is lower. Let's run this again. And we'll go with something like three. It says the secret number is higher. And then lastly, we'll enter in six and it says we got it. Okay, so we've used an if and two elifs here. And we've checked, we've used the is equal to, the less than, and the greater than operator. There are other operators though. We've also got, um, we can also check uh, is less than or equal to, and to do that we put an equal sign after the less than operator. So this is uh, basically checking if guess is less than or equal to the secret number. So it can either be less than or it can be exactly equal to the secret number. And there's also greater than or equal to, which looks like that. So we can say, we can check if the, the guess is greater than or equal to the secret number. Um, and there's also, lastly, not equal to, which is exclamation mark equals. So this means is not equal to, if we want to check if one variable is not equal to another, if one value is not equal to another. So we've got is equal to, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and not equal to. And I'll just change that back to how it was before. We can also combine uh, different conditions, um, and we'll look at that in another tutorial, but that's uh, basically how to write if statements in Python. Thanks for watching.